Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the, in the last episode, we covered about MongoDB get method. So we learned how to retrieve data from the collections. We saw different methods like find, find by ID, to explore and get data by passing specific queries or getting all results. If you have missed out that tutorial, please do check it out. Today we are going to learn about update slash put method using MongoDB and Express. Using update, we are going to update documents in a given collection. We'll learn all about it in today's episode. Let's get started. This is part 23 of the ExpressJS full tutorial series. I've covered these topics before, so make sure you check them out. If you have any doubts, ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Today we are learning about ExpressJS updating documents in MongoDB. All right, so before we get started, I'll request you to kindly go through the MongoDB course that I've created in this channel. There's a playlist. Uh, the reason is it will help you understand, learn MongoDB from basic to advanced concepts. That will really help you in a long way. All right, so a quick note to our viewers who are joining us new on MongoDB CRUD. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, Delete. Creating new document, reading documents, updating documents, and deleting documents. That's what CRUD stands for. In the previously, we have covered Create and Read. Today, we are doing Update Documents. So, there are three methods that we are, can use to update the existing documents in a collection. We can use Find One and Update. By the name, it says it will find the first one and update it. We'll pass a query, it will find the documents, it will update the f very first one. We also have a method called update. What it would do is find all the documents in a collection for a given query and update them with the new data that we'll pass. There is one more method called find by ID and update. We'll have to pass a specific ID of the document that you want to update and pass the new object that you want to update. I'm going to show you all three in action now. Alrighty, so this is what we are at. Uh, we have created the student model previously and we are working on students.js file, right? So let's get started. Um, so this is what we were making notes. So let's continue so that you have one placeholder for all the notes. So step number 14, Today we are going to start with update method. So go to students and let's create a new route and we will say update. Right, so we are building a new API and we will say slash update. So whenever we will type the URL students uh, slash update, right, it will come here and then it will update, right? Before updating, what we will do is we will take some query that the user wants to build, right? So what we'll do, we'll take the first name, right? And let's call this first name here, right? And so what we are telling is we'll be getting the first name in the query, right? And we will take that and use put method. And we will use this to pass as a new object, right? How do we do that? Let me show you. So what we are saying here, first we have to say student model dot update. Now update will take the query, right? What query you want to take, comma, what's the new object that you want to build, right? So let's go to our object. <coughs> Sorry. All right, so I'm saying wherever there is age 30, right? Change the department to IT. That's what let's say we are trying to attempt. So I'm, I'll say wherever there is age 30, put department as the new one that we will pass. <coughs> All right, so let's pass it here. So what we are saying in the student model, find and update wherever there is age 30, update the new department as the one that was sent, right? From the user, simple, as simple as that. All righty. So let's uh, run this npm run start and our 
application is listening at port number 13 right so let's go to our postman app and we are going to say student slash update and it's a put method so make it put and here in the params we will pass department and here I'm going to say electronics right so now we are saying we are going to pass the params and we are going to update update wherever there is now here if you see if you refresh you'll see that this is CSE right so now let's send the data so it says modified one status is 200 okay that means it was it has modified the document let's see the document object now so now you see it has made it electronics right similarly you can pass a set of values like you can pass multiple combinations you can say date of birth etc etc so more than one query you can pass that is update method now similarly I'll say let's build one more API URL and we are going to say update user so this is for a particular user and what we are going to pass we are going to pass ID which will be the ID right and we are saying here now we will say dot find by ID and update so we will have to pass the ID so let's pass this ID which is what we will pass and then again we will send the department also so we are going to make it department and DPT right so here now I'm saying I will pass a certain value and you update it right so why only <coughs> let's say first name right so you can update any key right so that doesn't matter so so now what I'm doing I will pass the user ID and I will pass the new name that will get updated because I'm passing the ID find by ID and update let's try that all right so our application is up go to your postman now the URL is update user right so here we have to pass user ID right and that I'm going to get it from MongoDB here this ID and I'm going to pass it here and I'm going to pass the first name and I'm going to say um, say my name right all right so here we are saying wherever this ID is matching change the first name right simple now let's run it so here it says first name is YouTube but it did not update let's see why because uh, here it is first name and we are passing lower name that's why okay so now let's see again so now it says first name is null okay first name is null uh, let's see why so here we have first name that we are passing and we are setting to F name Y query and we are taking first name here it is user ID okay let's make sure that you take the same params because that's the key most of the times we make mistake in those places all right so let's refresh this value here so here it updated Sridhar right so you see it updated the value uh, so now <coughs> let's try let's say now it is saying still it is saying 200 okay so let's see the value so it is updating the value because we are just not processing it correctly so what we need to do is get the data of what we have updated right so probably we should do a something like run the query and get latest data right so that is something that I will leave you with a homework so give it a shot the next one that I want to show you uh, is find one and update right so similarly try find one and update right so what this will do it will match the first document and get you and update that particular document right it is simple right so simple straightforward thing so three methods that you will work with one is update one is find by ID and update the other one is find one and update right so what this does 
it will update all matching documents based on query and update them right what find by id will do it will find single matching document and update it right what find one and update will do it will match right so what it will do is it will match one for it will match the first document and update based on conditions or query that we pass right so the syntax would be something like this like you'll have model dot update or find one and then first will be the query the second will be the updated data third would be your function which is error slash response right so this is how it would look so your query is again in if you want to pass multiple value or anything whatever value you are updating right so this is the uh, syntax that you should remember while working with update i hope it's clear uh, give it a try the best way to learn is to try it right hands on so give it a try let me know if you have any issues because in the next episode we will discover and use delete uh, method and that will complete our CRUD operations part. So looking forward for that. Make sure you try it out. Make sure you let me know if you have any doubts and I'm always here to help you. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.